My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Got water all on my dang shirt. Freak it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, good Lord have mercy on my sweet, precious black soul right now. I'm going to try to do this junk in one take because uh, currently as I'm recording this, it's like 8.30 p.m. This is still yesterday. Y'all seeing this today, but this is yesterday. So Bethesda's conference is supposed to start soon. I'm supposed to stream that. So let me try to get through this junk quick. Microsoft came pretty strong this year, <laughs> you know, which, which is what a lot of people were asking them to do. I mean, let's be real. The freaking situation that Microsoft finds themselves in and you would get it kind of confused like a lot of people think microsoft is actually doing bad they're really not it's only when you compare them to what sony is doing with ps4 then it's like oh my gosh you guys are doing terrible <laughs> you know but xbox one ain't doing bad this generation is just not ps4 you know so they had a lot riding on the table this year and i thought this was going to be their most important e3 going into the second half of 20. 18 this year and going into 2019 we needed to they they needed to get suckers that were xbox one owners excited for something you know so this was big for them um they kind of pulled that same bs that uh they did uh last year saying <laughs> we have over 50 games and and <laughs> i was like we 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 have a <laughs> We have over 50 games, and over 20 of them are Xbox exclusives. <laughs> you know, so if you guys remember, they kind of pulled that same job, you know, uh, last year, saying, I think last year they said they had over, like, third, like 30 exclusives. You lied to me. You lied to me. Junk was real fun to watch as a viewer, because it was just, like, title after title after title. But if you're looking at this conference in the grand scheme of things, it's like... So... Y'all still ain't got no exclusive. <laughs> you know, so it's kind of one of those deals. But they did, you know, show off some things, you know. So, uh, um, Halo Infinite, I don't really know what this is going to be. They showed Halo, uh, a new Halo trailer. You know, there was rumors of Halo 6, you know, uh, being at this conference there was rumors i mean you know they're, they're they're doing the whole master chief collection update four years later <laughs> you know so we wasn't sure if it was going to be that or like some type of spin-off halo game all we know is that a lot of people are fed up with what 343 has been doing with their precious franchise and it just seems like listen 343 stop what you're doing just give us the classic Halo experience. We we no longer believe in you anymore, you know? So people have been asking for, like, a classic Halo experience. And, you know, like I said before, Halo finds itself in a, in a place to where even if the game isn't bad, you are constantly reminded this franchise is not what it used to be. Halo used to be so big for Xbox, and they cannot escape... Halo can, can't escape its own greatness. So people are constantly trying to, you know, get that classic Halo experience. But at the same time, you know, devs are trying to, you know, make it a fresh new revamp. And it's like real like iffy because it's like you don't want to change it up too much. But you don't want it to be like the same old Halo, you know. But don't really know what that junk is going to be. You know, it just, it just said Halo in uh halo infinite there was no gameplay they showed mass uh master chief in it you know at at the end so i don't really think it would be a halo spinoff that was the first thing they uh showed off i was actually surprised they didn't start off with force <laughs> you know but trust me they got to that uh ori will of the wisp you know at, uh, after ori and the blind force people love that i thought ori will will of the wisp was supposed to come out this year but i guess now they're coming out next year so they showed a, a little trailer for that ori will of, will of the wisp that come out in 2019 From Software's new game. <laughs> <laughs> 
From Software's new game, we all remember last year, uh, From Software had this freaking short behind T, uh, uh, well, teaser trailer said, Shadows die twice, that's it. Screen goes black. So it's like, oh my God, Bloodborne 2. <laughs> you know, that that would be the first thing you would, you know, probably think of, right? Well, you were wrong. <laughs> A lot of people was wrong because some people thought it was going to be Bloodborne 2. But there was some people who was like, this ain't no Bloodborne 2. What is this? <laughs> you know, and come to find out, I think this joke is called Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So, you know, we saw the whole Shadows Die Die Twice part, but it's called Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Comes out in 2019. It was like a little gameplay trailer. Ain't gonna lie, John does look good. I do plan on copping. I don't know if this is just me, and let's be real. Um, Y'all, 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 y'all be real with me here. Trailer looked great, but I'm just like, okay, like, from software is doing, you know, a new IP, which is great. Also, come to find out, Activision is also involved. Get away from everything. <laughs> just get, just get away. So it was like from software, and then and, and then it showed Activision. I'm like, no, <laughs> you know. But um, from software, you know, of course they're 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 they are known for you know these Souls games. You know, uh, I'm not sure if they started. The, I, are we calling Souls games its own genre now? I don't know, but you know they are popular. You know for this type. Of game you know and um I get that you know Dark Souls Bloodborne stuff like that and people love those games but I'm just like from software you do realize that not every game you make has to be a Souls game right <laughs> you don't know, like you know you, you do realize like you can do a completely new you know different you know uh unique style games that you know people don't don't see coming this is just another Souls game, and I guess I'm all right with that because again, people do love these games. But as you look at the trailer, even though it looked good, I'm just like, okay, I see Neo, I see Dark Souls, I see Bloodborne. Uh, someone in my uh chat said, I see some uh Ninja Gaiden. I'm like, yeah, that too. <laughs> like, it's just like I would have personally liked from software to like tackle like a completely different. Like, just something completely off the grid. Like, holy crap, this is from From Software? Oh, you know, that's that's just my opinion, though. The trailer looked great. I do plan on getting this game. But after I watched it and after all the hype dies down, I, I was just thinking, another Souls game? <laughs> you know, I don't know if that's just me. But, uh, so that's what From Software is working on. A Souls game called uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. That jump come out in 2019. Not exclusive, by the way. <laughs> you know, uh, even though they showed it, I'm I'm actually surprised that they showed it at Microsoft's uh, conference. But they showed some other stuff at this conference that I didn't expect that I'd see at Microsoft's conference. Fallout 76, who cares? Um, another... <laughs> Another settlement needs <laughs> Another settlement needs your support. I'll mark it on your map. Preston Guard, you know, after Fallout 4 um I'm 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 just not really interested. I mean, even before Fall Fallout 4, I I I never would call myself the biggest Fallout fan. Trust me, like I do not compare it to like how other people are into this franchise and love this franchise through a uh, through and through that's not me i played fallout 3 a little bit of new vegas and then went into 4 i'm not like a die hard fallout fan i personally think fallout is one of the most overrated franchises of all time but that's neither here nor there you know but fallout 76 people are excited for this game uh they show a trailer for it um apparently this is supposed to be four times bigger than fallout 4 again i'm not really a fallout fan like that but i do realize a lot of people love this franchise so i'm sure you guys are excited for that fallout 76 crackdown 3 Xbox's Last Guardian. That is officially what I'm calling this game. You know, I've seen a lot of people uh, saying that this this is the Xbox's uh, last uh, last guard last guardian. Um, Crackdown Three. Um, we all know if you guys didn't hear, it did officially get delayed till next year. It's supposed to come out. Well, at first it was supposed to come out. 
No. Was it, was it supposed to come out last year? And then got delayed until 2018? I don't know. This junk got, got a delay so many contacts. I don't, even, I don't even remember. But it was supposed to come out this year. Got No, it did. It was supposed to come out last year, I think. And then it got delayed until 2018. Supposed to come out this year. Then it got delayed until 2019. I'm really thinking they're doing this because they don't want another xbox blunder they don't want another quantum break they don't want another sea of thieves they don't want another freaking recore <laughs> you know i i really think they they are you know um they are like treating crackdown 3 as like a it's like as like a precious child because if you guys remember they started talking about the whole power of the cloud and the power of dx12 and all that with Crackdown 3. This is a, supposed to be a huge title for Xbox One. So I'm thinking that's why this game is getting like delayed and like cut off. And like we're not seeing like so much gameplay. Because they are really trying to make this junk like a staple for Xbox. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, So it is delayed till next year. But they showed a new gameplay trailer for it. Featuring Terry Crews. <laughs> you know. And honestly. um, Me not being a uh, complete troll slash hater uh this was the best gameplay trailer that i've seen thus far for for crackdown 3 it didn't really have as much of uh, frame rate drop <laughs> you know it looked a little somewhat more polished you know and they were showing like different you know uh stuff of gameplay you you know that you could do it the, the gameplay trailer looked good the, the, this was even though it wasn't like official gameplay it was like gameplay mixed in like the in, like mixed in the uh trailer it looked good they they literally just show bits and pieces and just move on i'm just like why are they doing this crackdown 3 is not i mean at least on 360 it wasn't like no system seller it wasn't no triple a exclusive it was just crackdown <laughs> you know but on xbox i think they're really trying to take it to like that next level so maybe that's why we're not really getting so much about it but the gameplay slash trailer you know was a good um so that they show a gameplay trailer for metro exodus they showed that at last year's e3 too man metro the metro exodus trailer junk looks really good the graphics look really great it's probably running on pc but who cares you know uh kingdom hearts freaking three I was like, word? <laughs> Y'all showing this junk at Microsoft's conference? Low-key thought at one point, yeah, these square, square niggas might be like, what are we doing? This makes no sense. Key, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is exclusive to PS4 because they, they, you know, it was so, like, quiet. Is Kingdom Hearts 3 really coming out on Xbox? Guess so. Um, So they showed a new gameplay trailer for that. Kingdom Hearts 3 look, looks incredible. If you guys did not hear the news, it got it got delayed till next year. <laughs> it got delayed till next year. Wasn't really shocked. These Kingdom Hearts stands swore that it was going to come out this year. Like, oh, oh no, all, no, all the clues and signs point to Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out this year, you big idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a word? Yeah. Change, uh, change of plan, <laughs> you know, so Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out next year. I don't even really think, I don't think, like, the delay was massive because my whole thing was, I did think, King, after a while, I'm like, okay, yo, Kingdom Hearts 3 actually might come out this year. And I was thinking that the release was going to be, like, mid-December to late December. So it getting delayed essentially a month. To me, that's nothing, you know, but some people, some people truly thought that this game was dropping like in August or September. I'm like, are you an idiot? <laughs> you know, so maybe for them, they're a crush, but, but for me, this is really just like a month delay because I thought this junk was going to come out like late 2018 in the first place, you know, so yeah, it got, it got delayed till next year, but for me, it's only a month, but the, the, the freaking gameplay trailer they show Kingdom Hearts 3 looks incredible, dude. Uh, they actually showed Frozen. Frozen is going to... Let it go! Let it go! <laughs> Frozen is going to be a world in Kingdom Hearts 3, which, which, which really isn't shocking if you think about it. I mean, Frozen is one of the most popular Disney movies somehow of all time. Like, these, <laughs> these freaking little kids... <laughs> They freaking love that movie. That jump made so much money, you know. Comes out uh next year. First month of well, really the second month of next year. But jump looks jump looks incredible, you know, and yeah. 
I guess it really is coming out on Xbox. I hope y'all suckers get uh, the 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 uh, Kingdom Hearts collections on Xbox as well, because I don't know how they just gonna put KH3 on Xbox and nothing else. I don't understand, <laughs> you know. But uh, should be interesting for that. Um. Oh yeah, and Hitadu. I don't know her freaking last name, but the freaking we all know. You play Kingdom Hearts one simple and clean to my sanctuary i guess in this one her official i don't know if this is going to be the official kingdom hearts 3 theme but i was listening to it i'm like okay just jump bumping it ain't no sanctuary though <laughs> you know so they were like playing her a new uh song and like the uh and like in in the uh, background wasn't bad you know but uh yeah it ain't, it ain't no sanctuary <laughs> It ain't, it ain't no simple and clean. <laughs> you know, so that's cool. Um, sea of Thieves. Sea of freaking thieves. Sea of no content, by the way. <laughs> uh, expansions, which this game needed. Expansions are coming to Sea of Thieves. I think one drops in July and one drops in September. So if you did like Sea of Thieves, but there wasn't really a lot of content, well, guess what? You got some coming, <laughs> you know, so that... So that's good. Uh, they showed like a trailer for that. Uh, they showed a trailer for Cuphead DLC, which I mean, I think it was needed. Cuphead is one of the few bright spots that, that the Xbox had last year. Why not put DLC out for it? Some people thought that Cuphead didn't need DLC. So good. Xbox don't get games like Cuphead too often. You <laughs> you better milk everything you can. Put some DLC out for that. And that's what they're doing. So they show like a trailer for that. Forza. We all know it was coming. <laughs> like, we all knew it was coming. Forza, 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 Forza Horizon 4. Um, trailer slash gameplay didn't look... Forza never looks bad. Like, Forza is an incredible looking game. But it's just like... There's only so many times a nigga could play Forza. <laughs> like, there's only so many times you can get hyped. To play a racing simulator, even though I am, I'm more so a fan of like the Horizon. I, I've never liked flat out racing sims. I like those arcadeish type racing games. So for Forza Horizon Four, it does look great, you know. But it's Forza. Um, this was the biggest thing that Microsoft talked about. I think this year, this was the most important thing that they talked about. This man, Phil Spencer. Got on stage, <clears throat> held his nuts like this, and said, "We got five new studios, Sony. What, what, what y'all bitch ass niggas gonna do?" <laughs> it's like he was like, "We got five new studios, man. They announced five new studios that will be working on Xbox games for strictly Xbox. That is." huge that is literally what people have been telling microsoft these deaf bastards for year literally years generations since the original xbox people have been saying yo y'all need other <laughs> like studio they finally listen um one is called the initiative and that is actually a Santa Monica. It's like a new Santa Monica studio. So, you know, I guess while, you know, God of War was like getting all the uh, praise on PS4, this man Phil Spencer said, hey, so y'all can... <laughs> he was like, and so, um, we're going to offer, we're, we're going to offer you guys like X amount of the dollars. And, uh, yeah, when uh, that, yeah, when like you guys' new team form, uh, y'all want to come over and make some Xbox games for us? About to be great, you know? So, uh, that Santa Monica studio is called The Initiative. It's a brand new, uh, studio. So, that is, that, that will be very interesting. Very interesting and a uh, rare w for microsoft getting some new studios they they announced five the second was undead labs uh the third was play was play was playground games the fourth was ninja theory and the fifth was compulsion games so that that was the most because this is you're 
is is one of, is 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 one of those things to where you're not going to see the results now. It's not like oh my gosh, like look. Look at these games. <laughs> like, you're not going to see the games now. Who knows what these suckers is going to make for Xbox? This is more so like setting the Xbox brand up for the future. And it's very important that they do this. Because if you go on, I don't know what the next Xbox is going to be called. I mean, we, I mean, we went from the Xbox to the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Are we going to Xbox? I don't know what the hell the next Xbox is going to be called. Like, this joke is crazy. You know, but they don't want to still be focusing and relying on Gears and Halo and Forza next generation. Y'all still have been doing this joke for three generations. Well, really two, gen, really two generations straight. Y'all cannot do that junk going into next gen. So this is really them setting themselves up for the future. And I thought that was very important and a W for Microsoft. It finally seems like they get it. No matter how powerful your console is, no matter how many times you try to drill into people's heads, <laughs> you know that Xbox is the best place to play. Suck it. If you do not have exclusive titles, none of that matters. <laughs> you know, and it seems like they finally get that to some extent. So that was huge. PUBG. <laughs> a new, uh, I, I, I guess it's like a new update trailer that uh, Bluepoint is doing for Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. I'm actually shocked I saw that. I mean, lately they've they've just been, I don't know, not working on their not working on their game and trying to sue Fortnite for whatever penny that they could get <laughs> that they could get from I'm like, like um how about you stop trying to sue Fortnite and work on your piece of trash game, you know? And it seems like they're <laughs> it seems like they're actually doing that. So um apparently PUBG is getting like a new like big update during the uh winter time. So if you still play PUBG, uh pretty great <laughs> you know uh tells of vesperia i've never played any of these games um but i always hear about them and um you know i'm i'm not really into jrpgs like that but i am always open to playing different games and i love rpg titles like the only thing with the only thing today is it's, it's so much harder to like get into these rpg titles as you get older and as like you just get more responsibilities and stuff like you just don't have enough time into these like RPG ish games like you used to. It's like back in the day I used to play uh Sakodin, Grandia, Star Ocean. I mean, I used to love playing RPGs. Now when it comes to RPGs, it's like I have to pick and choose when I want to get into one because I just don't have enough time like that. But Tales of Vesperia, this show look good. Tales of Vesperia, the definitive uh, edition. That comes out in the uh, winter. I'm looking at that freaking uh, gameplay trail. I'm like, this show don't look that bad. <laughs> you know, so that may be a cop. Maybe, maybe. Um, The Division 2. The Division 2. Can someone please tell Ubisoft that we're not stupid no more. Can someone please tell Ubisoft to stop putting in that scripted dialogue ta tactical communication teamwork and every freaking shooter that they put out. It's dry. It's stale. It works like in one or two games. Now, now it's just like, you really expect us to believe it? <laughs> and they did it in this one. The Division 2, they had a trailer, gameplay, and they had that, you know, scripted commun uh, communication, tactical gameplay. Um, I kind of get why they do that, because it, 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 it does, like, I think, add to the, pre to, the, to the presentation of what they're trying to go for. It, it, it's, it's just weird, because I, I think the game still has so much potential. But with what they do with it, and that's honestly the story of Ubisoft this generation. Ubisoft be having some fire ideas, some fire new IPs, but when it comes out, it's just like, this is what it is? <laughs> like, it, 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 it's just not what you would have hoped. Like, they just don't meet that potential of what you think it could be. 
And that's what the division was for me. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one. You know, um, any division fans, you know, of the uh, first one, what improvements would would you like to see in this one? You know, um, what did you guys think about that trailer slash gameplay that they uh, showed off? Um, I don't really know what to think about it because it's just, I just feel like it's going to be just like the first one, just in a different look. I think this one takes place in Washington and the last one took place in New York. I just feel like it's going to be essentially the same game, just, you know, essentially just like what Destiny is. You know, if you didn't like the first Destiny, you ain't going to like Destiny 2 neither, <laughs> you know. So, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, they showed some indies, you know, spent some time showing some indie, some, some indie titles. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider got a trailer. Uh, listen, someone has been hating on, I don't, I don't know if you freaking sexist pigs out there aren't putting no respect on Laura Croft but please believe Uncharted would not exist without the strong Laura Croft back in the day when she was whooping ass shooting with two pistols going down the hallway and freaking and uh freaking uh shooting tigers <laughs> like Tomb Raider the 2013 reboot it was decent <laughs> At multiplayer. Oh my god, that joke was trash. <laughs> that joke was tacked off. But 2013 reboot to, uh, Tomb Raider, that was decent. I thought Rise of the Tomb Raider was a really good game. Some people thought it was trash. I don't understand. And this whole marketing thing they're doing with saying, become the Tomb Raider. It's like, a, how many times are we going to become the Tomb Raider? <laughs> They've been saying this like in every single game. <laughs> Are you ready to become the Tomb Raider? I'm like, like, I thought I became the uh, Tomb Raider last game, you know, so. Um, but the trailer looked good. I do plan on getting this game. Um, I love the Rise of the Tomb Raider. I thought it was really good. You know, excited to see what they do for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That comes out in September. My Lord Jesus. Uh, September has Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Spyro, <laughs> Spider-Man. I don't need nothing else. It's like a Spider-Man. Got that joint. And I think I may be missing something else. I'm not sure. But it's like a September is getting a little packed with games. Well, that comes out September 14th. Um, Skate 4. They showed Skate 4. Finally, people was like, oh, my God. Because I remember at EA's conference. So I was like, yo, Skate 4. Please, Skate 4. We need Skate 4. We need Skate 4. Well, guess what, suckers? You finally got Skate 4. Are you guys happy? No, you're not. Because it's not Skate 4. It's called Session. <laughs> Session, uh, by the way. Apparently, I saw two suckers. Two. Count it. One, two. I saw two people in my chat. When that junk started, I seen them say Session. I don't even know what the hell session is. <laughs> I've never heard of session in my life, you know, but I saw two people out of like at the time it was like a thousand plus people. Shout out to everyone who came through the uh, stream, man. Um but saw two people say say session. Don't even know what this junk is, but man oh man, what what a glorious troll, dude. Like if I'm backstage, I'm sure someone was was laughing so hard backstage like they really thought it was Skate <laughs> They really thought it was Skate 4. Nah, it's like it. Session. Get hyped for it. <laughs> you know, so what a troll that was, my God. But that was hilarious to me. Um, Devil May Cry 5. Devil May Cry 5 was a rumor. Pete, you know, people were asking for it, you know, before the E well, uh, before E3 came. Devil May Cry 5. That is actually real. You know, they uh, showed a trailer for that with Nero and Dante came uh, came at like the very end. Devil May Cry. I, I never I played Devil May Cry 3, which a lot of which a lot of people say was the best one. Um but I never really got into the Devil May Cry fran uh, franchise like that. But the trailer looked really good. Devil, uh, Devil May Cry. P people are huge fans of this uh, franchise. So I'm sure you guys are excited for that if, if, if you're a fan of Devil May Cry. De Devil May Cry 5, I think that comes out next year. Um, my God, This might have been outside of uh, Microsoft announcing, hey, we got some studios too now. So outside of that, this might have been one of the show stealers. All I know is they were showing is they were showing a trailer, 
and Bandai Namco was connected to it. And these suckers start talking about, are you ready? You never thought that all of these worlds would combine, but now it's happening. <laughs> or something like that. Sugger, all I know is I see Naruto. I see a little bit of One Piece. I see that freaking milked Stan Goku. And I think at the end of the drill, I saw some Death Note. I don't freaking know what that joke was. <laughs> but I'm like, what in the, what the blood clot? What is this? Sucker, Jump Force. Not the best title. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of name is that? Jump Force. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they, but that's the uh, title, Jump Force. Sugga, they this this gameplay trailer that they showed for this game. I'm like, oh my goodness, I am getting this game. <laughs> this game is look that that gameplay trailer looks so lit. Someone had actually posted on um Twitter. It was like one of those I don't know, like one of those optic guys. You know, they got so they they got so many so many like random people just like becoming members of optic <laughs> you know but he he was at e3 and he posted like a, some slight gameplay of jump force sucker that jump looks incredible incredible i don't want to get too hyped for this jump because i remember i was too hyped for this when dragon ball fighters was revealed and we all know the launch for dragon ball fighters was not good hopefully jump force has a better launch than dragon ball fighters but good sweet lord have mercy. Legit playing with suckers from Dragon Ball Z. I think they showed Goku and Frieza. And they were going up against Naruto. I'm like, bro, this is every dweeb's dream. <laughs> this is literally a dweeb's dream right here. They are going to literally bust on themselves while just playing this game. Junk looks incredible. That was one of the best things I saw. Jump Force from Bandai Net. I cannot wait until we see some more of that game. It looked like it kind of is going to have that gameplay like Xenoverse. Which I'm not really a big fan. I've never really liked any of those Xenoverse. I mean, the Xenoverse, I played the first one. Which wasn't really that bad. But I'm not really a fan of those types of fighters like that. Um, But... The gameplay that I saw with this, it just looked more, it looked more solid. It looked more, I mean, I, I can't really say because of course, of, course, of course I didn't play it, but it just didn't look, it looked like a Xenoverse type game, but it just looked more like tight and put together, you know, so that Jump Force, that Jump Force? That Jump Force, though? <laughs> when, when Jump Force comes out, oh, you best to believe. A brother is all over. <laughs> I, I am getting that game day zilch. Okay, so that 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 literally was, uh, that shocked a lot of people. Um, Dying Light 2. I actually got out of my chair for this. <laughs> I don't really know why. Because, I mean, but Dying Light... I literally remember playing the first one when it dropped in 2015. I'm like, man, I would love a sequel to this game. Dying Light was a very good game that kind of got slept on a little because, yeah, the voice acting wasn't that great. The story had its issues here and there, but gameplay-wise, Dying Light, especially if you love zombie games, Dying Light was like Mirror's Edge mixed in with like, like it, it, it literally was parkour zombies uh 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 freaking i don't freaking know but it was great it was great for what they did with dying light especially after doing that trash behind a uh, dead island no, nobody care about that yet no more <laughs> so going from going from dead island to dying light you know in the whole parkour aspect and the free roam and the open world i love dying light for what it was even with the flaws that it had so when dying light 2 was finally revealed oh my gosh i literally lost my mind um can't wait to see what they do with this one um 
they showed some nighttime gameplay for a split second. That jump looked like straight out of I Am Legend. He was like in like this dark building. And it literally looked like those things from I Am Legend running at you. We all know in the first Dying Light, when uh, you were stuck out at a night, the uh, zombies would like turn into like these these vampire-like creatures, and it was, like, more dangerous. Dying Light 2, I am very pumped to see what they do with this one, so that should be very interesting. Love seeing that. Um, They showed three Gears games. Someone had called this out before E3, and I'm like, yo, these things really... Y'all really got... Y'all really got that junk. Three Gears games. First, when they first showed it, it was like... Are they doing a Funko Gears? <laughs> like it was literally they showed Funko Pops. You like 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 you know those little fun you, you know those little Funko Pop things that like come inside the uh, box. They showed that but for Gears and I'm like has Gears really gotten this bad? <laughs> Are they really going in this direction? But it 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 was that. So that's going to be a mobile game. Uh, Gears, I don't know what that joke is called. Gears Funko Pop? I don't know, you know. But they showed that. They showed Gears Tactics, which is like a Gears uh, RTS game. It kind of looked like, you know, uh, XCOM, but for Gears, which didn't really look that bad at all. And Gears 5. So they are doing three Gears games. Um, One will be on mobile. One will, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming be on PC, be uh, RTS Gears. And one will be Gears 5. So that is very interesting, especially if you're a Gears fan, you know, for the future of Gears. And last but not least, they showed Cyberpunk 2077, which was great. Like, um, really great trailer, of course, coming from CD Pro uh, from coming from CD Pro Project Red. After what they just did with The Witcher 3, suckers is going to be all over this game, you know. So that was the last thing they showed at um their uh, conference. Um, After Microsoft's conference was over, I was personally bouncing back and forth between 7.5, 8. I was asking the chat of what they thought. Of course, these freaking Sony cum guzzlers was like two <laughs> you know but um i would have to give them and i literally keep bouncing back and forth between 7.5 or 8 i keep on bouncing back and forth so i'm just go with eight i'm gonna give them an eight because uh they came with something they came with something this year which is what was most important we really needed to see what direction microsoft was going in this year and they not only did they show that, but they gave us also insight on the future of what Xbox, you know, is trying to do. They got five new studios working on games for them. You know, they're putting out some uh, new content for see or no content. You know, uh, they uh, show the new Halo. We need to see some more of that. They got they're working on three Gears games. You know, Force Fours is there and, and stuff like that. So yeah, they they still are. It's still those. It's still those three. It's still that three-headed monster. Halo, Gears, Forza. You see it there, but you also see the future of what. Uh, again, you don't really like. We all don't really know what the future is going to be yet. But the fact that they finally have some new studios, and on top of that, you know, they showed all those. You know, multi-platform. That's why really that and, and that's what kind of makes me go back to 7.5 because yeah they showed some stuff but let's be real all the big things that people are talking about are all multi-platform games <laughs> like they're all multi-platform so that's why i keep on bouncing back and forth between 7.5 and 8 because it's like they came with something you know they showed some insight of the future of xbox but at the same time it's like Y'all suck it still just show Gears, Halo, and Forza and a whole bunch of multi-plats and lied about saying we we have over 20 exclusives. <laughs> you know, so I keep on bouncing back and forth. But I do think Microsoft's conference was very entertaining to watch. Thought they had a good conference. I thought um if they keep on, you know, going into E3, you know, with this type of, you know, uh mindset you know and vibe i definitely think i i think they can turn the situation that they are in right now around and phil spencer didn't look as stressed this year as he did last year because <laughs> that's so good last year that man looked stressed as free this year he actually seemed like he was having fun and like confident talking about xbox like yeah we got games too <laughs> you know so 
that's my thoughts of a Microsoft's uh, conference. What did you guys think about this show? I have to go because I'm literally supposed to be streaming right now and I'm not doing it. I have to go. I will catch you guys later. There is so much more stuff to talk about. I'll catch you guys later. Sony's E3. You already know what's going on tomorrow. Oh, well, today. I'll see you guys later today. Peace out. Love y'all.